Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Sync Fusion Flutter Date Range Picker. In this video, you will see how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter Date Range Picker widget to a Flutter project. You will learn how to change picker views, selection modes, and how to get the selected date. Finally, I will show you how to display action buttons, OK and Cancel at the bottom of the date range picker. First, open the VS Code Editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, so I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. First, run this application. Choose the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Let's see how to add a date range picker widget to this app in place of the text and button widgets. First, I need to import the Sync Fusion Flutter date picker package from the pub.dev website. So, open the pub spec YAML file and declare the dependency syncfusion underscore flutter underscore date picker using the latest version. When the file is saved, VS Code runs the command flutter pub git to download the package. The download is completed now. Next, I open the main.dart file and import the datePicker.dart library to use the date picker widget in this file. Let's write the date picker related code within the My Homepage State class. Before that, remove the code in the My Homepage State class for clarity. Override the build method, and within the build method, return a safe area widget to render the date range picker within the usable area. To its child, set a scaffold widget so that you can set the material design to your application. To the scaffold's body, set the SF date range picker widget. Save the file. The hot reload feature loads the application to the Android emulator. You can see the date range picker displayed in the application with today's date selected by default. You can change the date range picker view by tapping on the header. Date range picker supports month view, which is the default view, and also year, decade, and century views. To change the month view to the year view programmatically, in the SF date range picker, set the view property with the value year. Save the file and hot restart the app. Now, you can see that the date range picker view changed to your view. Next, change the view to decade and click the hot restart button. The view changes to decade view. In the same way, change the view to century. Let me change the view again to month. Notice that the first day of the week is Sunday. In countries like the USA and Japan, the first day of the week is Sunday, while in the Middle East, the week begins with Saturday. Considering this, the date range picker allows you to change the first day of the week. Use the month view settings property and set the date range picker month view settings by passing the first day off week property with the value 6, which stands for Saturday. You can set the value starting from 0, which is Sunday, to 6, which is Saturday. When you save the file, notice that Saturday is displayed as the first day of the week. Next, let me show you the selection modes in date range picker. They are single, multiple, range, and multi-range. Single is the default selection mode, and let me change it to multiple. In the SF date range picker, add the selection mode property and set the value to multiple. Save the file and select multiple dates. You can select a range of dates by setting the value to range. Now, I can select one range at a time. To select multiple ranges at a time, you need to set the value to multi-range. As you can see, I am able to select multiple ranges at a time. Now, let me show you how to get these selected values from the date range picker. The selected date or range details can be obtained using the on selection changed callback. In the SF date range picker, set the on selection changed callback with a method. Implement the method that takes an argument of date range picker selection changed args type. Let me call the print method to print the value from the argument. Save the file, select a date. You can see the console display the selected range. Since I have set the selection mode as multi-range, it shows a collection of range of values. Since only one date is selected it is considered as the start date. If I click another date value, 
it is considered as the end date. In the same way, if I select another range, that range will also be added to the selected values collection. Finally, let me show you how to display action buttons, OK and cancel at the bottom of the date range picker. Before that, let me remove the code related to selection changed callback for better clarity. In the SF date range picker, set the show action button property to true. Save the file, you can see the cancel and OK buttons at the bottom. Now, to get the selected values when I click the OK button, in the SF date range picker, set the on submit call back with a function receiving a parameter and print the value. This will print the selected value when I click the OK button. Let us check this by saving the file. When I select a date and click the OK button, the console with the selected date is seen. Next let me show you how to clear the selected values when I click the cancel button. I need to use the class date range picker controller for programmatic operations such as selection and navigations. The same can be done to clear the selection. So, in the my homepage state class, I define a field for date range picker controller and initialize it. In the SF date range picker, set the controller property with the created date picker controller field. Now, use the on cancel callback and set a function, and use the date picker controller field and set its selected ranges property to null. This will clear the selected ranges, if any. Save the file, select a range of values, and click cancel. You can see the selected values cleared. In this way, you can control selection using OK and cancel buttons. That's it. Let me summarize the main points. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter Date Range Picker widget to a Flutter project. You learned how to change the Date Range Picker view and the first day of the week. You also learned how to change the selection modes and how to get the selected date. Finally, I explained how to display action buttons, OK and Cancel at the bottom of the Date Range Picker and use them to get the selected values and clear the selection from the Date Range Picker. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also check if you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.